Hello, I bought this CRT tiny tiny monitor in AliExpress for about $20. It is in black and white and it is the same technology used by Sony for the Watchman, which was basically a small TV that you could carry around everywhere. Being, I think it was the FD10, one of the most popular models. I'm going to show you how to get this working. I connected to a PlayStation 1, but basically you can connect it to anything that has a video output. Let's get into it. As you can see here, this is basically a very tiny TV. This is a small cathodic ray tube and all the other components just necessary to have an image. Here is a little schematic that I downloaded from the AliExpress website. And here we can see that it requires between 12 to 15 volts. Then we have the ground, then we have the video signal. Then I need two variable resistors. One is for the contrast and the other one for the brightness. Here I'm going to build a connector and then on the other ones I'm going to solder the variable resistors directly on the board. Fitting them together is not going to be that straightforward because as you can see they are a little bit wider than the original connector. So what we're gonna do is just bend the legs a little bit in order to let it fit. Now we need to build the connector that is going to provide the power and the video input. There is a crimping tool for this kind of connector, but unfortunately I don't have it. So I used pliers instead and gently bended the contacts. Then I used a wire stripper that has some crimping jaws to finish the job. With our connector in place, we are ready to power this app and see if it works. Let's set the power supplied at 12 volts. And it's working. Now let's connect a PlayStation 1 to it. But first, let's create a rudimentary RCA female socket for our test and a female jack adapter connector for the power supply. Let's turn it on and see if it works. Yeah, we have a video output here. Let's turn off the lights so we can better see what's going on here. The image needs adjustment and in order to do this we need to use ceramic or plastic screwdrivers because they cannot get magnetized. Otherwise the magnetic field of a normal magnetized screwdriver would interfere. For example you can see here how a normal screwdriver deflects the electron beam. It was an amazing day when it was first discovered.
As we can see, the image quality is not that bad. It's in black and white, but it's fine for many applications. Considering the low price of this small CRT and the possibilities that it offers to tinker with and experiment, I think it is a really nice monitor to have. I hope you have fun. Let me know in the comments if you get a similar monitor and what you do with it. Thanks for watching.